going on my friend this is jake of jg calisthenics and before i dive into it i just want to mention that you know if you're watching this as a very first viewer then i highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel now and turn on post notifications ding. because i upload new videos for you every monday and thursday build more strength and muscle with calisthenics shredding off more excess fat at the same time so in this video i'm going to show you two exercises where you're not only actually going to be able to get stronger but you're also going to be able to get more flexible and mobile at the same time so you know you're going to make a lot of gains with just one or two exercises right so by all means keep on watching because i've got some real good juicy stuff coming your way so the first exercise we're going to cover for the upper body more of an accessory exercise you can do towards the end of your workouts is a lying shoulder dislocate what it's going to do is that we're going to train and strengthen our rotator cuff and also improve our shoulder extension right which is so so damn important for calisthenics particularly you know the planche and you know pulling strength in general as well so that said simply start by lying on your stomach you can do this on the floor or on a bench i personally do this on a bench giving my head some more space because if i do put my head on the floor it kind of irritates my skin which of course is something i avoid with my acne and starting with your hands overhead you want your hands to actually be wider than shoulder width so you can actually do this properly and then simply you want to pull your shoulder blades down and back towards your waist while keeping the elbows straight and then once you've actually pulled towards your waist, you're simply gonna return back to the starting position and then repeat for repetitions. Really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades down and back to train the rotator cuff and shoulder extension very nicely. And so as I'll be demonstrating this with a resistance band, obviously the very simple progression from here or regression is obviously to make it harder, we use a heavier resistance band. To make it easier, we use a lighter resistance band. But as we're training our rotator cuff here, you will not need any, any heavier resistance bands. You're best going off for lighter load and higher repetitions with this. Another progression we could do with this, instead of just jumping straight from one band to another, we can actually focus on shortening our hand placement and hand width apart so by doing so we're actually going to improve our mobility and strength to a larger extent but whatever you do my friend make sure that you don't bend the elbows right if you bend the elbows you're not going to get the best from the exercise you're going to defeat the purpose of the exercise and you're also going to miss out on some straight arm conditioning benefits which is very important for conditioning tendons and ligaments for calisthenics straight arm exercises right so make sure you actually do this with good proper form keep those elbows straight man you can also do this with a pvc pipe or just a general stick with like a weight plate in the middle um i'm personally not going to demonstrate because i don't actually have the setup so doing that all with resistance bands as i've done myself uh it's going to work either way now the second exercise we're going to cover is more for the lower body i'm going to cover dumbbell split squats right and we're not just going to cover just the normal split squat you got you probably are thinking right now we're covering the full range of motion split squat right and this just has so many benefits to name a few you know obviously not only you're going to get stronger legs you're going to have no more muscle imbalances by working with these because obviously you're working one leg at a time it works all your leg muscles your quads your calves your hamstrings your glutes all that good stuff you're also going to improve your mobility and flexibility at the same time and once you get really strong and good at these you're going to have pain-free hips pain-free knees pain-free ankles no more aches and pains in your lower body right now you may be watching this video and be like oh my god jake what are you doing why are your knees passing your toes like are you actually trying to hurt us no i'm trying to actually heal you because in summary knees past toes really isn't that bad i mean to put things into perspective i mean if the whole analogy of your knees being past your toes was really bad i mean i think we probably all have to go to a and e and all have to be rushed to the hospital because when we walk up a flight of stairs or anything in general you know our knees go past our toes with several activities in the day without even realizing and so as he started out in the starting position working with one leg at a time i encourage you to start with your weaker side first and obviously with two dumbbells gripped with your hands obviously you want to lower down and forward when doing this and keeping your glutes engaged so you can keep the back leg straight and not only you want to have your chest nice and upright by slightly pulling the shoulder blades back right you also want to have the knee of course go past the toes and at the bottom range of motion you want your hamstrings to cover your calves right simply press up repeat for repetitions once you've done one side make sure you do the other side so that said, it's very important that you actually do this right because you don't want to drop the chest, let the back knee bend excessively or cut in range of motion. I mean, here's the thing, you know, this exercise takes a lot of work, you know, for me, <laughs> it 
there's no chance I could, could have done this when I was you know, 16 or 17 years old. This takes a lot of time to work towards. And so the way we can actually regress this is we can actually elevate the foot and do front foot elevated split squats, right? As it requires less flexibility and mobility. So we can focus more on our technique. And from there, we'd simply lower down the incline as we get more mobile. So we can actually then do them on the floor, right? Another exercise we can do, which is also very beneficial, is the Bulgarian split squat. Because from there, again, similar to the split squat itself, we can not only strengthen our legs, but we also get a stretch in the lower body where, again, we can improve our flexibility at the same time. To make the normal split squat harder, we can actually elevate the rear foot, the back foot that is, and do rear foot elevated split squats. As again, that's going to further condition and improve the mobility and flexibility in your hips, your knees, and your ankles. All that good stuff, right? So really, it depends on where you are right now and what your main goals are. But the main method, of course, of making it harder is, as we're you know not using body weight, we're using weights. Uh, very simple, just add more weight by lifting heavier dumbbells but make sure of course you have the form in check first before you actually add the load and so as you can tell from both these exercises by working smarter rather than harder you can actually make more gains in less time right you don't need to focus separately on a strength session a flexibility session a mobility session skill session whatever right if you focus on the right exercises you can actually experience all of these gains and progress in all of these areas at once right so you don't have to train them separately train them all in synergy and make gains all at once because that way not only can you actually progress in your own health and fitness but you'll actually have more time to dedicate to other priorities in your life you know whether that's spending more time with your family your kids your loved ones or just generally having more time to put in the dedicated work at your current job whatever the moment you use strength training to actually enhance your life rather than having it take away from your life, that's where you're really going to see the lifestyle change that you desire in your health and fitness. And so like I said, if you are actually struggling with posture yourself, like let's say rounded shoulders, or you're struggling with you know fixing chronic aches and pains and you still have problems in certain flexibility and mobility issues, then of course you can by all means send me a DM on either Facebook or Instagram. I'll link all my social links down in the description below. And yeah, you can send me a message. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions because when I was growing up as a teenager, playing hours a week, or even hours a day, right? Uh, playing video games on the Xbox and the PlayStation, and then obviously playing football a lot when I was younger. Um, I struggled a lot with rounded shoulders, uh, stiff hamstrings and that. So obviously, you know, strength and mobility did not come natural to me. It took a lot of time, it took a lot of patience, but you know, over time, the hard work was more than worth it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know which of my videos uh, best support you so I can keep on making those videos for you. Comment down below, what I'd love to know is what videos do you want to see on this YouTube channel next? I'd love to know and see again what I can upload for you and produce for you so I can serve you to a better standard, right? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe already so you can hop aboard the Gain Straight Express. And you know, if you found this video helpful and you believe some friends would actually benefit from these gains as well, by all means share this video with them as well. And yeah, I believe that's everything covered. Again, it's been good talking to you. I hope you enjoyed this video again. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video, my friend. And as always, keep moving forward.